Live from the Kennedy Greenhouse Studio, this is SGTV News 4. Good evening, I'm Spencer Buckler. Coming up tonight, student government campaigns kick off tomorrow, the timeline for what's coming up. The coronavirus has sickened over 45,000 people worldwide, what the CDC is saying now. And last night was the New Hampshire primary. Who came out on top and who USC students plan to vote for? Tonight on Weekly News. This is SGTV Weekly News with Spencer Buckler. government executive positions are expected to be out later tonight. The positions up for grabs include president, vice president, treasurer, and speaker of the student senate. You can cast your vote on February 25th and 26th. And you can see all the student government candidates on one stage at the 2020 student government debate, February 17th at 7 p.m. right here on SGTV. Over 1,000 people have died from the coronavirus and over 45,000 people have been infected. Tonight, the CDC warning that the virus could take a foothold here in the United States. There have been 13 cases of infected people in the U.S., but experts here at USC say there is no reason for students to be worried. If you, um, if you think that you may be infected or you're coming from a source that you think it's there, then talk to the doctor right away. Um, but I don't think there's anything to become alarmed about. There have still been no confirmed cases of the coronavirus here in South Carolina. Coming up, we'll have a look at the results from the New Hampshire primary and how students on campus are feeling about the candidates. Good evening, our top story tonight. 25 years later and one of the University of South Carolina. Oh my goodness, I'm in Rome. <laughs> A University of South Carolina student is no longer enrolled after creating and sharing a racist post. Dawn Staley and the top-ranked Gamecock women's team made it 13 straight wins on Sunday. With it. Alrighty, for our weather this week, Tuesday we are sitting at 59 degrees. A winner has been declared after yesterday's New Hampshire primary. Vermont Senator Bernie Sanders came out on top with 25.7% of the vote. He was followed by former South Bend Mayor Pete Buttigieg, who got 24.4% of the vote, and Senator Amy Klobuchar, who got 19.8% of the vote. The top five was rounded out by Senator Elizabeth Warren and former Vice President Joe Biden, the South Carolina primary is February 29th, and USC students have opinions on who they're going to vote for. News 4's Lydia Blackstone has more. With the South Carolina primary only two weeks away, I went out to Green Street to talk to students about their plans to participate. Um, I do plan on voting in the 2020 election. Um, I just turned 18, so I've never voted before, and I definitely want to take part in our country's democracy. I am voting this year because I think it's important that if we're going to voice our opinion, to actually do so by voting. With many out-of-state students who attend USC, voting can sometimes be difficult. Is it There's a thing called an absentee ballot that you can vote based on your where you live and what your home address is, and that can be sent in so you don't have to leave class, leave school, and go home and vote. You can do it beforehand. Some students have already made their plans on how they intend to get their vote in. But I'm from Virginia, so I'm going to do an absentee ballot. I've got I'm going to go home uh, to go vote in the primary on the 29th. Students share their opinion of who they believe the next president is going to be. I don't know, maybe Pete. Donald Trump. Just, Just anyone but Bernie. Joe Biden. They don't know who's going to win. <laughs> um, I while some students seem to be split on who they're voting for in the 2020 election, Joe Biden seems to have the upper hand here in South Carolina. For SGTV News 4, I'm Lydia Blackstone. Lydia, thank you. Stay tuned after the commercial break. We will have who is running for which student government executive position. Ja -da -da -da, ja -da -da -da. Follow up a painty trail. La A new performance. 
that will blow your mind. You're watching the Greenhouse Concert Series on SGTV News 4. Welcome back to Weekly News. Thank you for sticking with us. We have that list, an official list, I have to add, of people that are running for student body executive office. The official list will come out on Friday. Running for the president position is Izzy Rushton and Sam Mayberry. They are running for student body president, running for student body vice president. We have Hannah White and Zach Crawford. Zach Crawford is running with Sam Mayberry and Hannah White with Issy Rushton. Running for the Speaker of the Student Senate, we have uh, John Jacobus and Christian Bennett. Christian Bennett is also running for both president and vice president. Um, and then running for your student body treasurer is Caden Askew. That is the unofficial list, um, and make sure you stay tuned to News 4 for all coverage and tune in to the student government debate this Monday at 7 p.m. right here on SGTV. Well, that does it for weekly news. From all of us here at SGTV News 4, have a good night.